Hello, this is Dr. Progeny. Welcome to the Progeny Europe YouTube channel. Today I'm going to follow up on the last video I made and I'm going to show you how to recreate the pedigree we drew within the client version using Progeny Web Clinical. You'll see I'm now in the web version. This is version 10. For those of you who haven't yet upgraded to version 10, you'll see some quite a lot of, lot of new things and some new designs. You'll see the letters buttons, you'll see the redesigned redesigned user interface so to start off in progeny 10 you'll see there's a button here which is for new pedigree I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna ask me some very basic questions which folder do I want to create this pedigree in I'm gonna choose that progeny Europe folder the name and the gender of the program and then I'm gonna click next and then it's gonna ask me some questions about the relatives of the program so the pedigree I had before one brother, one sister, one son, and one daughter. It, I'm not going to mention anything about aunts and uncles, but if you've got a larger pedigree, of course, you can add these in as well. And the second I then click next, Progeny will go away and will draw the pedigree for you. The first thing you'll notice compared to the client version is that Progeny has gone in and added the grandparents for the mothers and fathers. So what I'm going to do, I actually don't want those because I want to have a complete replicate of the last pedigree. So I'm going to take those off by lassoing them and clicking delete and then saying yes. And then what I'm going to do is expand out this pedigree so it is exactly the same as the one we had before. So I'm going to add on the spouses. And I'm going to add on a son and a daughter here. Added on too many sons. So just click that and delete. Yes. Then I'm going to add on the twin that I did before. Again, I'm going to click on that line and go. This time, I just right click to get to the options. The monies I got it. Just to show you, similarly with the spouse line, it's a little bit easier because you only have these options. So you've got the separated, divorced, and so forth. I'm just going to return that to being normal. You'll see as before we've got these little black boxes. And this time I'm just going to drag the one from the left hand side over to join that. Again select that line. It's not always that easy to grab. There you go. And select that as consanguineous. And you'll see pretty much now that is a duplicate of the pedigree we had before. So just to prove it I'm just going to pull up the old pedigree in Progeny Clinical, the installed version, you'll see it exactly the same now. So pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, we'll save that pedigree. What I'm going to do in the next few pe um, videos is to run through how we now overlay information onto these individuals using the data sheet and creating new fields. But that's all for now. Enjoy, and we'll see another video soon.